Hello! In this lesson, we're looking at factoring complex numbers. Our essential question, how do you factor using complex numbers? In previous lessons, we've looked at the expansion of x plus ai times x minus ai, which is a polynomial with real coefficients. For example, if we take x plus 5i and multiply x minus 5i, we get x times x, which is x squared, x times 5i, which is 5xi, negative 5i times x, which is negative 5xi, and negative 5i times positive 5i, which gives us negative 25i squared. We know that i squared is negative 1, so we get negative 25 times negative 1, which becomes positive 25. Negative 5xi plus 5xi add up to 0, and so we're left with x squared plus 25. Notice in the multiplication, the imaginary term disappears when working through the algebra. So one of the general statements that we can make is that x plus ai times x minus ai gives us x squared plus a squared, which is what we see in this example over here, x plus 5i times x minus 5i is going to be x squared plus 5 squared, which is x squared plus 25. Now that we know how to multiply complex numbers, we are going to understand the process in reverse. That is, we are going to factor the polynomials with real coefficients, but complex factors. Here's our first example. We are to completely factor the polynomial expression x squared plus 9. I find that the easiest way to factor this polynomial is to first solve for x squared and then write it in factored form. So what I'm going to do first is set it equal to 0 and isolate x squared by subtracting 9 on both sides. I get that x squared is equal to negative 9. Take the square root of x squared to get that x is equal to the square root of negative 9, which gives me plus or minus 3i. So in factored form, I'm going to have x plus 3i and x minus 3i. Now let's go back and look at one of the identities we saw in the previous slide. We know that x squared plus a squared can be simplified into x plus ai times x minus ai. So if I were to factor x squared plus 9, I know that I am going to get an imaginary number over here because this is the sum of squares, and so I can factor it into the square root of x squared, which is x and x, and the square root of 9, but knowing that this is going to be an imaginary number, the square root of 9 is 3, but as an imaginary number, it's going to be positive 3i and negative 3i. And this is another way that we can get our factored form of x squared plus 9. In this example, we are to completely factor the polynomial expression x to the power of 4 minus 3x squared minus 4. x to the power of 4 minus 3x squared minus 4 can be written as a quadratic. When we do this, we get x squared to the power of 2, which is x to the power of 4, minus 3x squared minus 4. I'm going to let x squared equal u and replace this x squares with u so that I get a quadratic of u squared minus 3u minus 4. From here, I'm going to factor. I need two numbers that multiply to a negative 4 and add to a negative 3. These two numbers are negative 4 and positive 1. So u squared minus 3u minus 4 factors into u minus 4 and u plus 1. But remember, we said u was equal to x squared, so we need to go back to our original variable, which gives us x squared minus 4 and x squared plus 1. x squared minus 4 is the difference of squares, so this will be x plus 2, x minus 2, and x squared plus 1 is the sum of squares, which means I am going to have a complex factor. Take the square root of x squared gives me x and x, and then let's take the square root of 1, or if it helps you, you are taking the square root of negative 1. And so the square root of negative 1 is going to be plus or minus i. So x squared plus 1 factors into x plus i and x minus i. And this is the factored form of x to the power of 4 minus 3x squared minus 4, which is x plus 2, x minus 2, x plus i, and x minus i. 
Write a polynomial that has the solutions negative 2, 3, negative 4i, and 4i. Since I have four solutions, going from the fundamental theorem of algebra, I know that my degree for this polynomial has to be x to the power of 4. What I'm going to do first is write each of my solutions in factored form. In factored form, negative 2 becomes x plus 2, positive 3 becomes x minus 3, negative 4i becomes x plus 4i, and positive 4i becomes x minus 4i. I'm going to multiply these two factored forms and these two factored forms and then take their product and multiply those to get my final polynomial. x times x is x squared, x times positive 2 is 2x, negative 3 times x is negative 3x, negative 3 plus 2 is negative 6. Combine our like terms to get x squared minus x minus 6. Multiplying our complex terms, we get x times x, which is x squared, x times positive 4i, which is 4i, negative 4i times x is negative 4i, and negative 4i times positive 4i gives me negative 16i squared, which is equal to negative 16 times negative 1, because we know i squared is negative 1. So negative 16 times negative 1 is positive 16. Negative 4i plus 4i add up to 0, and we are left with x squared plus 16. Now take these two products and multiply them to get our final polynomial. x squared times x squared is x to the power of 4. x squared times negative x is negative x cubed. x squared times negative 6 is negative 6x squared. Positive 16 times x squared is positive 16x squared. Positive 16 times negative x is negative 16x. Positive 16 times negative 6 is negative 96. Combine our like terms, which in this case is 16x squared and negative 6x squared, and that gives me 10x squared. Write our polynomial, which is x to the power of 4 minus x cubed plus 10x squared minus 16x minus 96. The conjugate root theorem. The complex conjugate root theorem states that if p is a polynomial in one variable with real coefficients and a plus bi is a root of p and a and b are real numbers, then its complex conjugate a minus bi is also a root of p. That means that if you have a complex number such as x plus i, then you also have its conjugate x minus i as a solution for your polynomial. Write a polynomial equation that has roots 8, 2, and 2 minus 3i. In this polynomial solution, I have three solutions, 8, 2, and 2 minus 3i. But anytime I have a complex number, I know that I should have another solution, which is the conjugate of that complex number. So since I have 2 minus 3i, I also have a solution of 2 plus 3i. Since I have four roots, I know that this polynomial is going to have a degree of 4. I need to write each of my roots in factored form. Root of 8 in factored form is going to be x minus 8. Root of 2 in factored form is going to be x minus 2. Root of 2 minus 3i is going to be x minus the quantity 2 minus 3i. And root of 2 plus 3i is going to be x minus the quantity 2 plus 3i. I'm going to multiply these two factors together and then these two factors together, take their products and multiply them to get our final polynomial. x times x is x squared, x times negative 8 is negative 8x, negative 2 times x is negative 2x, and negative 2 times negative 8 is positive 16. Combine our like terms and we get x squared minus 10x plus 16. For these two factors, first I need to distribute this negative. I get x minus 2 plus 3i. Distribute this negative to get x minus 2 minus 3i. x times x is x squared. x times negative 2 is negative 2x. x times positive 3i is 3xi. Negative 2 times x is negative 2x. Negative 2 times negative 2 is positive 4. Negative 2 times positive 3i is negative 6i. Negative 3i times x is negative 3xi. Negative 3i times negative 2 is positive 6i. 
negative 3i times positive 3i is negative 9i squared, which we know that i squared is negative 1, so it's negative 9 times negative 1, which gives me positive 9. Combine our like terms, we get x squared. Negative 2x times negative 2x is negative 4x. Negative 3xi plus 3xi add up to 0, so those go away. Positive 6i plus a negative 6i add up to 0, so those go away. And I'm left with positive 4 plus 9, which is positive 13. Take these two products, multiply them to get our final polynomial. x squared times x squared is x to the power of 4. x squared times negative 10x is negative 10x cubed. x squared times positive 16 is 16x squared. Negative 4x times x squared is negative 4x cubed. Negative 4x times negative 10x is positive 40x squared. Negative 4x times positive 16 is negative 64x. Positive 13 times x squared is positive 13x squared. Positive 13 times negative 10x is negative 130x. And positive 13 times positive 16 is positive 208. Combine our like terms and we get x to the power of 4. Negative 4x cubed plus negative 10x cubed is negative 14x cubed. 13x squared plus 40x squared plus 16x squared gives me positive 69x squared. Negative 130x plus negative 64x gives me negative 194x. We are left with positive 208. And here's our final polynomial. x to the power of 4 minus 14x cubed plus 69x squared minus 194x plus 208. Alright, that's it from me. I'll see you all soon.